Dungeons and Daddies is a rowdy, horny, violent podcast for grown-ups. Content warnings can be found in the episode description. Taylor's Inferno, Canto 17. Among the B-word sayers, now we lie. My head friend hissed in ever-dropping voice. Let's scooch on by them quick. Wait, do I spy our 16th president among these boys? And here beside him, Hyrule's hero speaks of Zelda, sweet and fair, in words so choice. Let not these dudes so crude now make you weak. Our teeny mascot urged as we pressed on. A darker circle yet, we still do seek. The doodler's anchor waits below, beyond. So through one final hole with dread we leapt, and thus we reached our journey's denouement. O'er mighty thrones, a pair our eyes now swept, and on one sat a demon foul and fell. Behind my Tyson Rios mask, I wept. O oh, listener, do not ask me now to tell how faintness then and terror made me real as I saw Jody Foster, king of hell. But Taylor, to a cop, shall never kneel, nor does from death he flee nor danger fly. So if old Chody tries to test my steel, like Dante, I will make this devil cry. Welcome to Dungeons and Daddies, not a BDSM podcast. It's not. It is not. It kind of is sometimes. It's a D&D podcast, a Dungeons and Dragons podcast, where we play four teens from our world who are sent on a quest to fix our world after their granddads fucked it up. My name is Freddie Wong. I play Taylor Swift, the anime-loving, nobody-only-head, empty thoughts. <laughs> yeah, we gotta okay. fix that. Yeah, we gotta fix that. <laughs> no, I refuse. Ranger T in the group. This week's teen fact for Taylor Swift was the first thing Taylor checked upon being beheaded after, you know, like the usual things, you know, which is like, oh my gosh, where's my head? What was my body? What's going it's a on? Class the usual, you know, you know, BuzzFeed's <laughs> top 10 things people think when they're beheaded. When they're being beheaded. TikTok, when I got my head cut off. <laughs> POV, TFW, you're Taylor, you got your head chopped off. TFW. That feel when your head gets cut off. That's me doing the TikTok the, AI, yeah, voice. The AI voice. Please yeah. continue. Yeah, thank you. The first thing he thought was, oh, that's good. This won't affect my potential future voiceover career. Oh. Mm. Dedicated. He wants to be like his mom. He had Aww. a vision of his mom dropping him off at like recording sessions in just a suitcase. <laughs> 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 you know what I mean? Just put me up to the mic, please. <laughs> Tilt me down a little bit so I can read the lines. Thank you. It's just anime gasp. Taylor will become the go-to anime gasp like voiceover artist for all characters in animation. Wow. He'll be Big paid deal. handsomely for it. He's going to be richer than everyone. He's going to die surrounded the by The two things to destroy voice fans. acting are AI voices and Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> hey, everybody. My name's uh, Matthew Arnold. I play Lincoln Lee Wilson, the schooled at home soccer kid, protective paladin of the group. And my steed. <laughs> and your steed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that should be the only fact that I'm Lincoln just... Lee Wilson. <laughs> fly like the wind. <laughs> Remember that? Hey, Matt, you've seen War Horse, right? Yeah, I love the idea that that's how Taylor sees this situation. Sort of a sea biscuit you, scenario. You, you, sort I of a reverse, sea. reverse sea biscuit. A really quick fact Lincoln makes his own Gatorade. Really? Yeah, because oh. he wants to with the, with the, with the pouch and water. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Just good. Almost as dumb. <laughs> he realized it was like expensive to keep buying Gatorade. He thought it was really good, mm. but his is way more expensive. He just takes airborne. Which is God trust it because it's made by a teacher. You get airborne. <laughs> he, he puts it in water and then like you know electrolytes are sodium, so he just puts salt and airborne in water and then puts some food coloring in it for whatever he wants the flavor to be. And it is oh it is God. it is absolutely hideous. But both of his dads drink it because they support him. And yeah, that's so. what they baptized you in. That's, uh, like, that's, why, that's, why, that's why he didn't count. That's, that's why, why he went to I hell. Was baptized straight to hell. Also, you didn't die. You walked through a portal. I realized. Despite and whatever. Marco calls it better aid because it's better than Gatorade. Better That's all it is. I think better aid's one of our sponsors. Let me better aid. Brought to you by better aid. Send better Gatorade. Brought to you by Airborne. It's a teacher. It's got to be yeah, scientifically God. accurate. Hi everyone. I'm Will Campos. I play Normally Oak Swallows Garcia. He's a perky, peppy, chippy, cheery school spirit mascot kid. I'm bringing that back. Yeah. Nice. Okay, oh, wow. cool. My fun fact about Normal this week: he's big. Into soups. Ooh, Loves soup a good soup. Okay. And here's why. Because normal believes that soup never goes bad. 
<laughs> he found a can of Campbell's soup and it was like expiration date 10 years from now. He's like, wow, soup never goes bad. So, you know, he'll make a big pot of soup, leave it on the stove for like a week oh, and God. just kind of just come back and sample it. Does you know? normal know about forever stews? Forever stews? I mean, yeah, yes, so normal every stew is a forever stew. <laughs> no, but, I mean, like, the con- but the concept of this. Yeah, the concept is that all soup is forever. <laughs> no, 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 but the actual real life concept. Which, yes, is that the real ready to share the fun fact yeah. that you have. Is that when you're married to someone named Stu? Yeah. Yep, then it's forever until yep. death do you part. There's no way we're getting out of Freddy telling yeah. us. Yeah. Maybe so. I don't know why you guys tried. Try. Yeah. When the train's coming at you in the tracks, you lean into the crash, yeah. you fucking idiot. I'm already bored of this fact. Fine. Fine. Google, Google it. it. I want to know about forever, Stu. Tell Go me. Go fucking no, Google it, you big dick. I really want to know. Let's all Google it. We all promise to Google this. Scout's honor. Sounds really exciting. I want to make sure my full attention is on this fact when I finally dive into it. Okay, Matt, you shut the fuck up, okay? Because one of the things that I love more than anything in my life is to eat food while Googling the food I'm eating so I can learn and nourish my mouth and my body at the same time as my mind. You little fuck. A okay. perpetual stew, also known as forever soup, Jimmy! hunter's pot, or hunter's stew. That's it. It's not actually called forever stew. It's perpetual stew. Go Bye-bye. fucking eat a dick, Jimmy. Jimmy's with us, everyone. <laughs> Let's let the woman talk. What? There's a woman here? Oh, no, no. Get her. Um, hi, I'm Beth May, and I play Scary Marlo, <gasps> a god <gasps> punk seeker of darkness betrayer teen nice. who is Go not house, like the other warlocks already there, bucko. Fun fact <laughs> about Scary this week. I'm going to keep it simple this week. Okay. Oh, thank God. Scary's favorite sound is the sound of silence, followed by a slight chuckle, <laughs> followed by, oh, okay. Which is the sound of when you've hurt someone's feelings with a joke really bad. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Yep. I usually wow. hate Tina Dad facts, but that made the whole thing worth it. Wow, I really just told he hates half the podcast. I do. I told you this before. <laughs> I sit here quietly waiting for the show to start <laughs> while you guys do your prep that could have been on the drive over. <laughs> I'm Anthony Birch. I'm your dad. The dad fact for me this week is that if you like quirky, funny D&D podcasts, one to know about this is made by some friends of ours. If you ever watched the web series Anime Crimes Division, I don't know why you would, but most of us hey, on the fuck podcast. You, fuck that you, Anthony. Fucking series rules. Rule shit. I like it too. Peak I'm just saying sick. most people. There's a reason we didn't get a third season, and it's not because too many people watched it. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Um, but if you have seen that series that we did for Crunchyroll, Riley Rose Critchlow, who played Diesel, the cop on the show, they and some friends of theirs do a podcast called The Real Housewives of D&D, which is basically oh. the Real Housewives of Blank City get pulled into a portal and then uh, have to survive in the D&D world while also being very dramatic and snippy at each other. Also got Nicole Whalen, which again, if you're a VJHS fan, yeah, which, why wouldn't you be? Because yeah, everybody saw that show. Both her and Nicole were both from Video Game High School. Big uh, characters on Video Game High School. <laughs> so many lines. <laughs> it's really, really good. I listened yeah, to the fun. first episode. It's hilarious. There's multi-level marketing schemes. There's oh, yes. like oh, nice. mysterious ancestors. Yeah. There's classic isekai heat. It's great. It's great. So it's got two people from Video Game High School. It's got a bunch of people school. from Video Game High School and the Crimes <laughs> Division in it. So, you know, it's got to be good. So, yeah, that's it. When we last left the group, you had descended to the deepest or what you thought was the deepest level of hell after getting through the eight deadly sins. And you (laughs) ran into Jodie Foster, king of hell, sitting on a throne who immediately somehow recognized Taylor behind a mask and did not recognize his son, Hermie. So as you may have heard, we have Jimmy here. To it's play he recognizes his son because also his son. Now his, the mask is the least of it. Like he's also a head on me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah got a natural 20 on his perception check. What do you want? I can sniff out vibes and I could yeah. tell yeah. what was happening. He sniffed yeah. out his grandson vibes. Okay, so yeah, Jimmy's here. Jimmy and I have talked about what Jody is up to and the things that he cares about over literally dozens of words in email. So I guess just go, just start talking. <laughs> <laughs> this is the kind of oh, laissez-faire nice. DM attitude <laughs> that you come to this fucking like, usually podcast. I would be this NBC explaining things, but like Jimmy's here now, so like good Anthony's luck, fuckers. so relieved. It's like, you went in now, Jimmy. <laughs> At a certain point, I assume Anthony will go, um, actually, and then you'll actually Yeah, at some point, a uh, fucking NPC is going to fly in and be like, I also have information that's maybe more precious. <laughs> so go ahead and wait, gird your loins for that to happen. <laughs> a little bat is going to fly in. Anthony, help me set the scene here, you know, 
how cool do I look on my throne? You look extremely cool, but also kind of sad, which makes you look cooler. You look like a <laughs> Frank Miller Batman of like, oh God, what's he oh, thinking? Yeah, He's brooding. Yeah, 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 oh man. Was. And you're like Thick. thin for days. Thick. Yeah, you're just a large slab of meat that just fucking has feelings. What's he wearing? He still has a cop outfit. It's up to you, Jody. <laughs> it's it a is cop up to on you, the throne Jimmy. of hell. <laughs> I wonder what you think about cops. Anyway, <laughs> you love teachers. You love authority. You know. <laughs> yeah. If there's one thing that I know about teachers, that they're just like <laughs> cops. <laughs> hey, they're just, they just you like, belong in hell. They're Jimmy. just cops that teach you things. Yeah, they're teachers with guns, <laughs> which is ideal. That's the American <laughs> ideal I want to see. American. All things trend towards teachers with guns. Come on. <laughs> so, what do you look like? What's, right, what's, what's Jody episode. look like? What's so he dressed jo like? Jody's sitting on his throne. He does look a little glum. And he's not particularly mm. enthused to see three buckos and one bitch stroll up to Whoa, him. Whoa, that's why he's here. That's, that's why, why I'm here. here. Yeah, Whoa. Yeah, yeah. I've decided bucko is the male version of bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll allow it. I'll I allow it. Shit, that's good news for you. It's not. <laughs> it doesn't have the same impact. But I, I look Buckaroo, upon- Buckaroo, on the other hand. <laughs> Come whoa, on. That's whoa. a male C word. <laughs> <laughs> I look around. Hermie is in the group, right? We yes. just never talk about him on the show. Yeah, so. he just sometimes doesn't talk until about halfway through the episode. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody has to kiss him for him to show up again. Well, I'm, Anthony's oh, getting the Joker standee okay. and putting it on he the table. Well, to remind him. himself that <laughs> Hermie the Unworthy exists. Yep. Very nice. So I'm looking at the group of kids, including good old Taylor as a head mm -hmm. on the And we have Army shoulder. of Two masks on. You have Army of Two masks on. Yeah. And I, smell him. and I simply go, oh, what the hell do you all want? Why are you, how did you even get here? Did you all die? No, you don't smell like dead. Oh, magic? Can anyone explain to me what's going on mm, here? You went through a hole. Yeah, you can explain to us. Look, kids, if it's uh, not too disparaging to call you that, there are two ways primarily to get to hell, magic and dying. You all chose magic, which is a bit of a bummer. Because, uh, like it or not, this is your last time you will be seeing hell. So well, when we die, good. we're what guaranteed they're going to heaven? If we die, we're automatically going to heaven? It's pretty cool. Well, Dude, that's I, awful! I'm what? not incommunicado with whatever is up there, if it even exists, by the way. But you will wow. not be coming back here because your passage to hell, it's like a, uh, it's like a punch card. And y'all punched it a little early by going through whatever magical hole you did. So welcome to hell and uh, hope you have a good time. I am fine. not going to heaven. Yeah, we don't want to come back, so. Uh, I got to admit that's it. Hi, by the way, I'm, I'm Normal Oak. Uh, nice to meet you, sir. I yeah, believe who are you? We kind of met a while. No, we didn't meet. I think we heard someone give a phone call to you when we were our dad's back on a misadventure some days back now, <laughs> some weeks back now. So could you like, who are you? Like just, you know, you seem to know a lot about us. We don't know a lot about you. I like to know who I'm dealing with. Cool well, for um, bro. Some of you have met my son, my now armless son, thanks to uh, some shenaniganry over here. <gasps> and that son of mine is the father of, um, of the head on your shoulder, young oh, uh, So yeah. you're boy. Taylor's granddad? Yep, that's me, oh. and I'm really wow. not in the mood to entertain more kids who we just didn't made their way- come here to be entertained, dude. So- Wait, 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 wait. Are you, more kids. You're my, my father, are you not? Are you, oh. based on the flashbacks that I experienced in the previous episode? Yes, I be? saw those too. I too listened to the podcast. <laughs> um, yes, Hermie the Unworthy, you are the- son of mine and someone that stole you and ran away with you, and- uh, <laughs> Haven't seen you in a while. You look. You are the son of mine. <laughs> yes. Do you have. Ah, uh, this is finally what it's like to have a dad. <laughs> <laughs> look, all right. Throwing the in front of things made me a more dad like thing to do. What are you doing down here? Like, are you. I'm the king of hell, dude. Look at what? me. You're I'm the, the devil? devil? What do your no, doofies I'm, I'm entail? Not, I'm not the devil. I just. I control the seven, now eight circles of hell, rings of hell, whatever you want to describe it. How's it going? Well, pretty poorly. I have to explain all of this to all of you all the time. It feels. Mildly well, annoying. I, you know, when I so first- So there were kids before us? Well, there was one kid, and that he's right there, Hermie. Hi, it's me. Okay. It's him, it's him, yes. He's many kids because he can put on many personalities because his father was yeah, a very boy, special someone to me that ran away with him and scammed me out of a son. And uh, <laughs> I've been scammed out of a lot of things recently, and I'm just trying to chill. Sir, I have a, I have a question, sir. Chill place. Yes. I have a question there, as well. You, you oh, go first. In order. Are there, are there just, I just want to know this movie's true. Are there any dogs here? <laughs> Do dogs go to hell? Is that your yeah. question? Yes, we have. They're called hell hounds. Perhaps it. you have heard of. I knew that movie wasn't true. Not all <laughs> dogs go to heaven. Especially the bad dogs. Yeah, there's bad dogs. Everybody says there's only bad owners, but I'm like, I've met a few dogs that I'm like, mm, I don't know. 
Anyways, right. I know this is not important. You got a real question, normal. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I have to. Uh, so, so you're Hermie's dad, right? Yes. And Hermie, how, how do you feel about that? Um, I'm I'm sort of wondering. Well, you said my other dad uh, disappeared, and I was wondering where he might, if I might meet him as well, meet both of my parents, and find out why I was abandoned on Earth would be delightful for me personally. Well. He is in another realm. There's many realms, as you all, I believe, now have discovered. And we had you together. Aren't you going to was... hug him? Yeah, I'm back now. Father, daddy. Would you like Give a him hug? Uppies. Hermie starts walking towards you with his arms outstretched. Uh, I can smell him from here, right? Yeah. Okay. I pinch my nose. I'm like, all right, bring it in. Bring it in, bucko. Mm-hmm. Oh, I didn't mean to say that. Bring it in, kiddo. <laughs> you call <laughs> You told me the B word. <laughs> he stops midway through and steps back as if in shock that you called him the B word. There's Whoa. no one to trust. There's no one to trust in this world. You know, I feel the same, Hermie. Okay. I had a good thing going and then uh, the magic reversed on me. I became a demon king of sorts. I found out my real true identity. My son decided to be a real bad dad to Taylor over here. Get both of his arms lopped off, and now I don't even have my wife around, and hell is just not a cool place anymore. I'm trying to make it more chill by the day. I mean, hell so far just seems to be like adults complaining about their problems, and yeah, this is worse than I thought it'd be. I don't care, dude. Uh, (laughs) Normal, your anchor detector tells you that the anchor is somehow deeper below this level of hell, which doesn't make sense because this is the deepest level of hell. Wait a second. I'm feeling, how much do you know, like, about the whole why we're here? Um, I have a general inclination. I've been trying to keep track of my son and all the things he's been doing. And uh, failing is what he's been doing recently, not really wow. listening to dad. I'm right here. No, not you, Hermie. No, I'm talking about the oh, other, the other one. Oh, oh, okay. I don't, Where I, is the I other don't, one, I don't by the way? That's fair. So I know you guys are trying what to What do you find- know about me? <laughs> Actually, not that much at all. I try to keep up with my son, Nicholas, and he doesn't seem to keep very much in touch with you. What? what? I mean, you've only talked to him, like, what, three times? Yes. Yeah, that's my Not exact- counting the times I don't remember. Right. So <laughs> three times then. Plus the times I don't remember. Right. Anyway, Nicholas could have done a better job raising you. That's all I'm saying. I'm here. Hey, hold on, hold on. Can you record that? <sighs> Just listen to the podcast later. This is too meta for me. <laughs> all right, all right. You and all you kids are here to try and get rid of the bad thing that happened the above. Yeah, the, yeah. We're yeah, here. The big, so yeah, we, yeah. We're, we're on a quest to find anchors in each of the five realms. We need to destroy the one that's here. That's why we're here. And I'm getting a vibe that there's like more hell under this hell, which I can't even process right now. But like, could you, you know, He's not do you the know anchor? anything about there are the anchors? It's weird. Oh, I get the feeling like, that there's something below us. Yes, oh, there are many. There are basement. Yeah, Joey, just tell us what's up then. We literally there, do not care about you then. There like, are, you're not the oh, anchor. So what's man. Is there more stuff below this? Oh, you all remind me so much of your grandparents. Just endless. Uh, So, yeah, there are deeper recesses of hell, yes. The one that you're in right now, if you look around, it's pretty chill. You'll see some Christmas lights over there. We got a nice little DJ booth over there for music. Did you decorate it? No, I didn't decorate it. That other fucker... Glenn did a whole number on this place, but okay, you know I what? Don't care. I don't care. Yeah. Who that don't noise. care about what? this backstory. We want to know Just where the anchor is. Well, how do we get to uh, the? Not to be rude, sir. Not to be rude. You have a very nice hell. Uh, a bat it's... flies in and goes. Just let me know if you want me to talk at any point. <laughs> <laughs> oh look, my messenger bat. Hey, what's mess- his name? <laughs> Bartok. Bartok. That's a, wait. <laughs> wait. <laughs> Anastasia <what>? Salas. <laughs> no, it's not Bartok. Okay. Um, let me look up a name. No. Jimmy has to give us a name. Mm. Oh, Taylor I- asked Jody <laughs> what the name of the hell demon. That bat- is his bat. That's, that's his, his bat. bat. It's Batholomew, my friend Bat. Okay, that's fun. Okay, yeah, there Batholomew. It is. Okay, well, so can we, look, we really don't, like, we're not, we, we're trying to get from A to B here, sir. We're yeah. trying to get down to figure out what this anchor Master, is. should so we, we can tell them about so Mega can- Hell? What? We haven't called it Mega Hell in years. It is more mega than this place. Yes, there are deeper recesses of hell, if that's what you're looking for. Okay. I oh. believe the- What word are we going to have to say to go there? Oh. You just have to say the B word again. <laughs> yeah, you just have to really mean it, though. You had extra enunciation. I don't want to say it again. Can't this is like a door we can go through. You're the king <laughs> of this place. Can't you help us? Yeah, well, you, we could open a door, I suppose. Well, yes, we've sealed one away because once you open it, things up here get a little spicier and worse. And I've been trying to make this place a cool place for a while now so that my wife will return. But it doesn't matter if you really want to go down there, Bartholomew. Should they, should they, is there any protection that we should do? Should, should we help them? Well, I suppose you could join them if you wished to, considering, you know, who's down there. But it sounds like maybe the person that you want to find is the same as the one that they want to find, perhaps. Maybe, perhaps. Mm. You guys well, want to talk in specifics? It'd be really helpful. Yes, sorry, sorry, sorry. Who, who, so, uh, the, uh, the Glenn, Glenn <laughs> and, and Morgan, the, the two people that we've mentioned uh, multiple times, it, it sounds like <laughs> if you're looking for an anchor, it, it is 
very much likely that Glenn has it or that Morgan has it. And as Glenn currently also has absconded with Morgan because Morgan liked Glenn more than, <gasps> than Jody. Uh, Don't gasp. You didn't care about this story two true. seconds ago. <laughs> you gave that's no true. shits oh, about man. what I was saying, Sir, boy. If I have a sin beyond saying the B word, it's that I love Goss. So Hot tea. I just can't, like, you mentioned this Glenn guy and then you mentioned your wife. And, like, it's natural for me to gasp at that. I'm sorry, though, because, like, that this, does sound This rough. Glenn guy took your wife? This Glenn guy didn't take my wife. In many ways, it was his wife, but it's still also it? my wife. Bro? It? Sorry. Yeah. I, I shouldn't mean, have said like, take either. So wow. Not, like, not saying. <laughs> Beth Albee is like, That's wow. That's why I'm in hell. Oh, wow. That, yeah, we're in hell. You can kind of, it's over time. <laughs> kind of what? It's kind of a Joe Rogan kind of vibe in hell. You can kind of get away with whatever you want. Your mind You're already here. Where else can you go? That's yeah, why I have exactly. mega hell. To yeah, keep people yeah. in line in hell, right? Morals kind of slowly disappear. Back when I was a human, I had a decent number of them. And then they also eroded when I got down here. Anyway, Glenn is in hell. He was improving it. But he was also trying to get rid of some things that were bugging me. As a result of also being Glenn and doing these things, my wife decided to, my ex-wife decided to go with him. Glenn so, was uh, hunting the 666 hate demons of hell. Yes, that live in the lower recesses in mega hell. Yeah, it was a very anime kind of He was a demon slayer? Yes, he was. Yes, he oh, was exactly. He and his wife that. worked together and slew 665 of the demons, but one remained, and we have not seen Glenn or Morgan for some time, so it is entirely possible that they are still grappling with the final demon of hell. I was just like salivating on my yeah, shoulder. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, Link. Wipe, wipe my Dude. mouth. There are prophecies that say that a chosen one mouth. will come and help. Oh my God! <laughs> chosen one. That's all I mean. We don't Somebody use Somebody they movies. wouldn't expect. It's gotta be someone that they don't expect. Yeah. 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 <laughs> It's got to be somebody who's really who's earned really the respect. Earned the right to, and all the knowledge of all the animals. Somebody with together. more knowledge than somebody anybody with, else. Who knows what to do. Somebody who knows what to do to step somebody up. Somebody who can step up and be the chosen one. And be one. the chosen Guys, one. I, think <laughs> I might be the chosen <laughs> one who has to slay the demon. The demon's probably related to the doodler, right? You know what? And Jody sort of takes a seat back and starts looking at all of you all with very obvious, I could use these kids' eyes. I have a great idea. <laughs> hey, that guy just wants to use us. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> no. <laughs> you can roll perception or insight to oh, see yeah, if you I'll notice that. Also, Scary can roll that, I think, with insight, but I don't know if she knows that's what Willie looks like when Willie looks at her, so. Oh. oh. Ooh. Wait, you're saying that? What? What? <laughs> 16. Anthony, yeah, what? All right, so with the 16, you know something is awry. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I don't trust any adult. Or something is awry the first time I tried to pronounce that word. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I think something's awry with this guy. Am I saying that right? No, it's awry. Awry what? Like, like a rye bread? Yeah, like, like bread, everything's gonna be like, all right. Come on. Well okay. done. Well done. <laughs> well, well, what do you want? What do you? Send what us can the we deeper help hell, you bro. with? Well, it seems like one of you is the chosen one, yet yeah. to be determined. Yeah. Yet to be determined, and a great way to figure that out is to maybe go to Mega Hell with me, Bartholomew, my Expos wise <laughs> expository device. That's me. And uh, maybe figure out where uh, this anchor is that you are looking for. I mean, okay, that, let's go. Yeah, it sounds good to me. We, we want the to guy do in charge. This. Wait, wait. And hold on, I'm not done yet. There's other parts to this deal. I would love for you all to have me accompany you. And uh, you all can learn about how cool I am, how much work I put into Upper Hell and making it nice. Okay. And should we encounter my lovely ex-wife, as well as that little shit Glenn, we can help them out. Well, I gotta warn you, sir, the last time we tried to help someone reconnect with their ex-wife and I shoot <laughs> eye daggers, it's scary. Somebody murdered him. Yeah. Who is this? Hey, hey. Mr. Yeah. Jowdy. Yes, yes. We need to be armed. We need to have weapons. Can you lend us your stock? God, your dude, you salivate so much when you talk. <laughs> Do you have like a broomstick or something? I need to get him off my head. That's all you fetch them a tissue of hell. Uh, a hell tissue. A hell Here tissue. comes a hell tissue, and he just brings you a tissue that's on fire. Okay. <laughs> this like isn't going to work. Is there like a stick? around here? I'll bring you a hell stick, and he brings you a stick that's on fire. Cool. Uh, right. Perpetually. I, I, so perpetually. it's not gonna burn up the stick. Yo, yo, I'm <laughs> we'll gonna burn stick, you, though. I'm gonna yeah. stick your head on this. Is that cool? Wait, Should no, it's hot! It's hot! <laughs> Alright, listen up, buddy. I know you want weapons. And then with a really wet slicking sound. <laughs> Wait, are you putting me on this? Yeah, I'm just putting it on the top of a stick. Ew! Are just you, like, being... putting it into his neck hole? Yeah. How big is the stick? The stick's bigger than it. It's him. like a broomstick. It's a broomstick. Okay. Okay. And then who's going to carry it? You're just going to It's hold. better than him being it's on my shoulder. It's Gandalf. What a cool walking <laughs> stick. It's going to hurt your hand because it's on fire. Oh. Can we it's have also going to oh, hurt oh, Taylor's head because oh, yeah. it's on fire. It's not on fire. Yeah, I mean, how is it not fire? Why is this difficult? Is there a stick in hell? <laughs> We're in hell. 
I got right, a sword. Really cold. Yeah, okay, I was a like sword. Christmas. I'll make up your mind. All right, I'll go to the top you layer and get a, a peppermint. You want me stick. a sword? What about peppermint stick? I'll get oh, a peppermint stick. I'll be right, right back. Stick. And he flies up to the top layer of hell where everybody's singing jingle bells, and he gets a peppermint stick and please he snaps it and he brings it down. Pocky. It's like one of those big candy cane. It's things. a big old candy cane <laughs> yeah, stick. There you go. And you can smell the mint coming down from the top layer of hell, and he hands it to you. Okay, then the right, there you go. Is on it is no longer on the top of the stick. It's like the candy cane curve is like perfectly curved over your head, and I'm tying you up. So it's like your head is like, or you, you know, just your lick head the, is like framed like on the candy. I like lick the under curve of the candy cane and stick his head up. Yes, oh, God. wait, lick the bottom of it, then it's like a cool spear. That's a good idea, normal. So while he's on the curve part, I'm also licking the bottom of it. A lot so that it gets sharp. I'm like, this is That's an interesting visual system. Interesting <laughs> visual. I've got a question. Yes, yeah, the most evil one here. What's up? Oh, <laughs> thank you. I can smell it. Yeah, what's up with that? Why can you smell things so good? Well, uh, you lose a lot of other senses slowly in hell, <laughs> and you can okay. decide which ones become more honed as a result. I'm currently about half blind, but you smell pretty evil. That's, <laughs> that's all I can tell. Yeah, yeah, I do. Would you like me to conjure a portal to Mega Hell? Yes, uh, and I'm sorry, young Taylor. We will not be able to give you a weapon, but it looks like you have a weapon now. You can just swing Taylor and his uh, thing around. Yeah. That that'll do. Nice. Look, oh wait, wait. Question, Matt. Is yeah. my pork pie hat above? Your pork pie hat got thrown gone. Gone, dude. It's gone, dude. Scary through the way. It's gone, man. It's gone. Learn to let go, man. You got like a hairband, but it's a <laughs> candy cane. I don't want to do this podcast anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, anyway, like, it's like your headphones, but it's a candy cane. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> Can we please just reiterate the terms of how I'm going to help you? Because you are all a little under-equipped, except for the kind of evil one. She seems pretty strong compared to the rest of you. But Maybe you're going to need my help. Yeah. Kind okay. of evil, chosen one. It's all the same, really. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I'm the chosen one, but okay. We're going to get down there. We're going to find this anchor thing. I'm going to help you take it out, and you're going to frame me as the hero and the one for Morgan to return to after all is said and done, because clearly they're having problems. You know oh. what I bet would be really impressive to this Morgan person would be if you... You know, reconnected emotionally with your son, or just selflessly. And I give Hermie like a big thumbs up, like right, like man. Yeah, I'm still here. I'm still in the conversation. Yeah, so maybe like while we're doing that, you know, that seems like a sort of like a intergenerational history of not being around. You could kind of you know re up that. I mean, is this Glenn guy have a good relationship with his son? Yeah, it feels like you should just selflessly help four kids. That'd be more impressive than killing one demon when this Glenn guy's already killed 665. <laughs> Don't think you're like really thinking this through. This Glenn guy has something to prove, so he's off doing it. He that. did it. He killed 665 demons. <laughs> ah, but not the last one. Not the last one. Mm -hmm. The hardest one. The ultimate boss with many different boss modes. Yes, the 12 in 1. Exactly. Well, that's still, that's still, still one. It's still one, that's but still it's, a lot. that's his name, the 12 does, in 1. It does okay. sound like a lot, though. Listen up, kiddos. You don't get to hell by being selfless, okay? You don't become the king of hell by being Fair super enough. duper selfless. <laughs> yeah, you do that's the other true. one. So all you sanctimonious little buckos can just take <laughs> scary that. Scary when you use that word, it hurts my feelings. Yeah, also oh, like none I'm of sorry, us. It, it is helping Bartholomew, Bartholomew conjure so this, up the portal. This portal is the though. second time that a scary oh, said no, bucko. So whoop, do? she disappears <laughs> through the ground. <laughs> Oh, uh -oh. She, she just falls midway through that speech down to mega hell, and you do not see her oh, anymore. Wow. Uh -oh. but it's just bucko. as I thought. Men's feelings are more important <laughs> than women's feelings. Can we all just say bucko bucko and go? Bartholomew says it doesn't count when you're a man. Oh. Like women can say bitch. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> Well, looks like it's a race to be the chosen one. Who's going to get there first? Uh. Oh, no! So, wait, do we got to just say bitch twice? <laughs> Yo, you get you <laughs> down too. And, and uh, in the moment, but you're sad. You yeah, yeah. You just get on the ground. <laughs> Your head's like stuck to the floor. Yeah. <laughs> Ow, son of a bitch! Say it. Uh, <laughs> you go I after just, him. I just I dive into the hole behind the two of them. It blocks you like an invisible ball in a video I game. I don't want to say it <laughs> again. And it says, I warning. Has not said the word. <laughs> all right, all right. How about this? How about this? How about you and I walk, and we'll walk with Hermie. I'm a skilled. Licensed, you know, I, I printed out my own license to be a uh, a group counselor. So uh, if you and Ermy want to reconnect, we can take the long way down. So you walk all the way, Will, and then you get to a checkpoint and they ask for your passport. And they passport, go, see, you say bitch It seems like you only said bitch once, sir. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they check your papers. They have you take out your papers and they look and the bitch thing is only stamped once. You got to say the B word to get in, right? I'm glad you took the scenic route, but like the help guard at the toll booth is like, we got to say B word again. I look at normal and go, hey, normal. Normal, normal, no. I know you want to say the word. It hurts someone's feelings or whatever. <laughs> How about this? There's another way to get the B thing checked off. Okay. And it's a little counterintuitive. Can't you just tell them you're their boss, aren't you? Well, the, oh, the guy at the gate. 
Yeah. No. No, that's no, no, not no. how it works. He's the boss of main hell. We're in mega hell, so yeah, it's, mega it's hell. different kind of jurisdiction. Yeah, that's like you can't go to the U.S. border, right, from another country <laughs> yeah. and be like, but my laws apply. <laughs> yeah. You could say the name of a super badass bitch that is using the positive connotation of the word that names, you know, someone that you think oh, is a okay. cool. Oh, um, okay. Has, has, no, has to be another B word, though. It's sort of like a loophole thing. Oh, it, so they're, if they're I say, bitch. like, you know, uh, my mom's a badass bitch, I get in. No, we changed the rules on that. <laughs> no, that's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's the old one. That's laws. not it. <laughs> Sorry, you didn't get the updated. I'm asking you to, to improvise here, Normal, to find in your, look through the history books. Did you ever read about someone in the history books that was a, you know, bad bitch alert that started with a letter B. No, they don't. Anyone? When did you go to history class? They don't say that. They don't say that in history books. They don't say like that word about that. I'm trying to be a better person, okay? AP history. Who's the baddest bitch? <laughs> AP history. You know, a 500 word essay. I think Martin Thatcher. Webster's dictionary defines baddest bitch. As, uh, I'm just trying to give you a loophole, boy. Do you think I can't say that word? You bitch, I will. Okay, and I roll deception. <laughs> <laughs> to see if he bluff, my bluff of saying you betcha works. Uh, yeah, roll Damn, deception. Dude. Everyone's just staring at you like, what did you it's just, just say? So many people behind you be like, you should know. <laughs> just say bitch. No. <laughs> Nobody's going to order before you get up to the front. It's a thousand other people behind you. Like, Why would you say bitch? <laughs> <laughs> and they all just, <laughs> and people just disappearing behind <laughs> you precariously. I, roll, I got a 12. The guard goes, I know you said betcha. Well, that doesn't I, count. Uh, it has, you have to say it with spite. It has to be about a woman. <laughs> Or you don't make the rules. <laughs> or bad bitch alert, an actual bad bitch. Try and, you know, to loophole. He already said that won't work, you dumb bitch. Yeah, we changed the rules. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> and you get uh, pulled down as well, and then it's just Hermie and, and you, and he goes, we could, we could just talk. We don't have to go down with them, you and I. We don't have to say the B word. We could just sort of decompress, and you could tell me what it's like to, to be a dad, and I could, I could be your son, and we could experience that together. You, you and me, just you and me, with no B words. Uh, so... How's, uh, how's it being lonely, I guess? <laughs> You're a real bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you get sucked down. Got him! Uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bye, Jimmy! <laughs> Thanks for coming, Jimmy! <laughs> Uh, all, right, all right, let me in, let me in. I'm, I'm, I'm me. <laughs> <laughs> they can't argue with that, and they let you in. <laughs> so you all fall through darkness, darkness that is all enveloping and all encompassing. Oh, and sounds like daylight. You see, <laughs> shut up, scary. In my ordinary shut life, shut up. <laughs> you zoom past the corpses of 665 demons of such size, grandeur, and horrificness that to Maintain a stare on them for any amount of time causes you a great deal of discomfort. But you can see a pinprick of light in the far distance that gets bigger and bigger as you approach it faster and faster. Like the opening of Space Mountain. Yeah, kind of. Wow. Like there's covered in corpses. Yeah. You see the opening of Space Mountain in front of you, basically. And <laughs> That's you why zoom they close through Space Mountain. It. That's why they close Space Mountain. Oh my God. <laughs> um, <laughs> clean those corpses out. The pinprick of light resolves itself into a large green field. And sitting on that green field are three small structures in front of those two a very defeated looking guitarist and his equally defeated looking female companion. And you all impact against the ground hard, not hard enough to kill you or hard enough to really oh. do any HP damage, but you uh, <laughs> on the ground. And you, for the first time in real life, you recognize him from the memory, you were looking at Glenn Close. I do a cool three point landing. Yeah, roll yeah, I mean, for that. Roll. Yeah, roll. Go ahead and roll. Someone else roll for me. I'll have the outboard. Right. Oh, like one. Three. <laughs> Dang one. Sorry, he got a 19. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. So Hell immediately yeah. Morgan turns her head and is like, whoa. <laughs> hey. No, oh, hey. Ugh. So uh <laughs> I brought some kids with me. <laughs> Why? <laughs> to, to hell. We're in mega hell. <laughs> yeah, they have something I gotta do here. They're pretty powerful. I, they, we could use the help. Yeah, we'll we you could use the here. help. You could feel very strongly that the anchor is on Glenn's person. Glenn doesn't even turn around. Okay, I want you to all imagine <laughs> the cover of the movie Versus. Matt knows exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 over his shoulder. Yeah. Yeah. He's got literally, a gun in literally one hand. my Mona Lisa. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. The most perfect image ever made. A guy in a cool <laughs> trench coat with a samurai sword and a gun. And he turns one hit, like, to turn over to look at He turns out. in profile. In profile, he goes, eh, looks like more meat for the meat grinder. <laughs> <laughs> Cool, this guy's really cool. Fuck! <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> Normal sizing up that the anchor is in Glenn looks to his compatriots and says, that's him. That's the guy. That's the guy who's got the anchor in him. Joke's nope. on you, Scare. You can't fucking kill him this time because he's already dead. I mean, so what are you going to do? You just going to say a bunch of mean stuff to him? Is Probably. He? Maybe if he deserves it. I mean, if he does deserve it, then I feel like we should, you know, if he does deserve it, well, we should still try to take the high road. Yeah. Hey, nice. Uh, Glenn, right? Mr. Close. <laughs> been ages since someone's called me by that name <laughs> all right well what a um, gift i've given to frederick <laughs> <laughs> do we yeah. know what like his deal the other guy was lonely right like what's what's your deal yeah what's your deal me and my lady here Ugh. so 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 hey babe hey you two have been with each other this whole like time, you right? You keep moving a little bit closer. <laughs> stop, 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 stop. <laughs> she, she opens her mouth and closes it once she realizes you're all looking at her. She's like, uh, later, later. Oh, yeah. Um, we're looking for the final hell demon. The 12 in 1. The 12 in 1. I There's 12 in 1. We fought him a bunch of times, but we can't seem to beat him. Can't seem to beat him. Maybe... I whisper over to more like maybe we could use this could. meat as Give an a distraction. <laughs> distraction, yeah, <laughs> okay, I guess it yeah. could work. Yeah, and then I'll go around back and I'll deliver the killing blow. <laughs> yeah, I mean they could also help us for just fairies. Like we all work together. Yes, by using them as bait for the final demon. You both know we're we here, can hear yeah. you, right? Oh, shut shit. up! Oh shit. shut up, kid. Do you know where this is? It's been so long since we were with other people. Do you know where the last demon is? Because it's like you he's, you're gonna tell us to yeah, go he's around right. back. He's I mean, I know how to summon him. It's those three structures over there. Yeah, we're at a checkpoint right here. <laughs> and Morgan points at three circles of cobblestone, equidistant from each other and the other side of the field from you. I'm gonna try to do like a uh, vibe check on Glenn. Okay. To see if I can suss out what his Roll um, insight for vibe check. Emotional. At what level is Glenn? Has he leveled be? up since the end? Yo, he's 20. <laughs> Does Morgan have a level two? Yeah, also level 20. Wow. What am I like and you're level? also level 20. You're the king of hell. I could be like level 22 or something, though, right? That's, <laughs> just like slightly. That's higher. the max, is 20. Yeah, but not in hell, you know. <laughs> <laughs> they changed the rules along with the bad bitch thing. <laughs> I got a 19. Could have used your vibe check to see where exactly the anchor was, but no, you had to check in on his I feelings. I know exactly where the anchor is. It's right I there. Say, I would okay. say, okay. Glenn. Excuse me, Glenn, I'm talking. Okay. Excuse me, Scary, so what, what is the problem? Um, why don't we figure out how to get it away from him? Okay, well, I'm. this is what I'm trying to do. Okay. Uh, well, if you want to join us in doing that. Uh, sure, I've been with you the whole time. I mean, that's subjectively not true, but uh, as long as you're here now, uh, there's always a spot open for you. Cool. Uh, good so, to know. Okay. Wow, you kids are so trustworthy. Mm. Yeah, they really no, we are. We don't trust any of you. We don't trust you, and we don't trust her. Wow, wow, in I, fact, it's the opposite. I literally don't trust anybody here, except for maybe normal, but like... I mean, well, what do you mean, maybe? I mean, what about I trust, I trust her trustworthy. in 10. I just think at the end of the day, we're all going to fail miserably. Yeah, so. Hey, what about me, bud? I mean, you're my right-hand man, buddy. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> And I kind of tap my candy cane. <laughs> Normal just balls his fist, just like jealous rage. <laughs> You're just my weapon at this point. I'll take it. So the vibe you get from Glenn is that Glenn's a little bit tired from, you know, responding and trying to kill this demon, but he's also more <laughs> stoked than he's ever been in his entire life. He's fucking living his life entirely, slaying demons with his babe by his side. <laughs> he stole from that asshole Jody back. <laughs> Everything is right in the world, and Glenn is like moral. You know what he is? What do you think Usain Bolt feels like after he wins the 100-meter dash? Do you know what I'm saying? Like, tired, but on top of the world, a king, a god. And Morgan's emotional state is like, I wish my husband would stop saying that he got me. <laughs> <laughs> do I remember what the emotional states of the anchors are that we're looking for? So you detect that he has the anchor on him. It is not him himself. Mm -hmm. And that the color coming from it is blue. And that represents the feeling of love. Whoa. Interesting. It's not in him like it was with Tony. Mm -hmm. It's on him. He's got well, it on him just, somewhere. Well, why don't we just ask him for it? Yeah, that's a great. Uh, can we have. Hey. Do, do you have like a thing? I feel like it's something on your person, and I'm wondering if we can have it. Can you oh, just what? strip and take everything and put it in this trash <laughs> can and we'll just burn it? Just everything, right? Just burn everything. I don't, we just need to find this one thing. I, mean, I heard the word strip. You don't got to say it twice. Like Glenn <laughs> fucking rips off his fucking leather jacket. Oh, he's God. covered in abs and scars. <laughs> you, you're covered in <laughs> abs? <laughs> It's horrific oh looking. <laughs> it's abs and like, scars. Some genie's like he asked. <laughs> 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 
You should be more some, careful about your wish. Free, yeah, some Mor- free genie Mor- somewhere. Yeah, Morgan's like the 450th demon we attacked was a genie who gave him a <laughs> twisted uh, wish to get abs everywhere. Oh I want to be covered in abs. The genie said, are you sure? He was like, that's too dumb for me to even like, I'm giving you a second chance to reword this. And then I was like, no. And he said, no. Covered. And he just did it anyway. Do I see Can any it is? object? Yeah. yeah. Do, okay. You see a guitar pick fly out of his coat as he rips it off. And okay, that guitar I, pick is the anchor. No, no, I want to be clear. I think the guitar pick would be in my guitar pick pocket. Okay. You have a pocket just for guitar picks? Every pair of jeans has a pocket just for guitar picks. My guitar player boys know and girls know there's that little pocket on the... <laughs> it's your butthole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's where guitar uh, players put it. That's why That's why no. guitars they always say Tommy gets stinky when they, <laughs> <laughs> they start oh my playing. Gosh. Like, Stevie, Ray Vaughan. Stinky yeah, yeah. Stevie Ray Vaughan I heard once play the show in that Austin City Lives and he was like it's time to stink up the place and he pulled a pick. No, no. It's a little pocket on the jeans on the right side, the secondary Oh yeah, pocket. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, okay, yeah. so yeah, it's there then. You didn't rip off your pants in front of children, I'm assuming, so no, it's no, still no, there. No, 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 I'm here to flex all my abs. Well, you can either way, you see the outline of a pick in his, uh, <laughs> next oh to his pendulous God. big dong. <laughs> Thank you! Sure he <laughs> also <laughs> wished for. No, 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 let's, let's, let's not get the cannon wrong, okay? Glenn did not wish for a pendulous big dong. What did he wish for? Find out next time, listener. <laughs> what? <laughs> He wished for a reduction in the size of his dog. Yeah, and it's it was still this big. big. He was the first I man. He was the first man to ever get penis reduction. I can't think of anything <laughs> people would care about less to wait for next week <laughs> than yeah. like what Glenn wished for regarding his penis. So Jody, okay. understanding the power that the pick holds to Glenn personally, is going to lean over to Scary and go, hey, it's, uh, it's that thing in his pocket I'm, 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 pocket. I, I want to hold my candy cane so that Taylor <laughs> so that can, can listen hear, in yeah, so I can hear as well. on whatever he Extend is when he's whispering. My listening. I flap a big demon wing in front so it's just me talking to Scary. Well, I'm really right, suspicious. Roll, roll opposed stealth for Jimmy and then perception for Matt and Freddy. I got 12 on closer, myself. But I'm closer. I'm closer. Okay, so Freddy then. You'll get a plus one. Okay, and, and then here's the thing though also. Wings don't stop sound waves, idiot. <laughs> I won't give an advantage then. <laughs> okay, hold on. I rolled 12 for stealth. All right. Nine. Jimmy got an 18 on his stealth roll, so you unfortunately cannot hear what he is about to say. Yeah, these are special. Don't worry, ones. I'll tell you guys. Oh, cool. <laughs> this pick, uh, it kind of represents a lot of his manhood. It's how he plays his instrument, his power. So if we can get rid of it, he's going to be way less cool. Morgan's going to see that, and then she'll come back to me, and I feel like you're the only one with the... The guts to do it, so uh, yeah, you gotta you got get it out of his pocket. Okay, Let's try it. Okay, guys, so I've got a plan. We need to get the pick out of the pocket. Basically, it's not a big deal. He's got a bunch of other picks at home. It's just like we need <laughs> okay. to get this specific one because it's the anchor, you know. Oh. Okay, uh, sir, can we have your guitar pick? Yeah, uh, I see you coveting my treasures. <laughs> no. Just the one. Just no. His eyes are up there, Morgan says. <laughs> Just the guitar pick. <laughs> Thanks. In that case, uh, will you play us a tune? Oh, yeah. I will you lie here. Can you get um, stinky? <laughs> <laughs> Let me uh, let me uh, let me get stinky for all y'all real quick. <laughs> Scary, what's a really long song? So we have as many opportunities as we need to to steal the pick out of his hands. How about... March of the Black Queen. Play all of it. Well, I feel like I'm not going to be persuaded by this child to play a song. Okay, well, I guess if you can. Well, if, I start if, launching into my 18-minute <laughs> solo that I play over Jingle Bells. Okay, so you just play your favorite song. Yeah, of course. Okay, fine. Check it out. Look how fast my finger, like, look at this. <laughs> God, he's so cool. God. <laughs> Glenn is the first person to get less cool after going to hell. Yeah. I finally understand why Star Wars fans were mad about Luke Skywalker. <laughs> Jody's going to plug his ears with his little wings. Look being like, oh, this. God, here we go again. So he's using the pick, right? Yes, he is using the pick. Hey, I'm sh- what are you shredding? Scary. His hands are a blur. Don't you have, like, I'm whispering this to Scary under the deafening sound of his guitar Fucked solo. up, dude. I'm in Ionian right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's a joke for Will and Will alone. <laughs> hey, throw mode out. Throw mode out. I'll play uh, it. Mixolydian. Ah, come on. Everyone knows Mixolydian. Give me uh, something real. Phrygian. Ah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? Glenn rolled a 25 on his performance, by the way. Not my best. <laughs> <laughs> I hate this great. guy. The best song. Like, you hate the song because it's not your style of song, most of you, because you're teens. But, like, 
if you were about 30 years older, it would be the greatest thing you'd ever heard in your life. Well, how does Jody feel about it? Not great. Well, I mean, oh, I think you have to appreciate that it's a great song, but you hate the man doing it. It's yeah, like yeah, yeah. separate the art from the yeah, art. It's exactly, yeah, there you go. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. listen to old Louis C.K. specials. <laughs> <laughs> Scary. Remember when you, and I'm not saying this because I approve of it, but remember when you were going to try to trick us all and then Link was like, psych, you know, you can't trick us around me because I'm real trustworthy and everyone trusts me with like a spell? It was like a mass. It was like a suggestion. Can't be charmed oh, anymore. Yeah. Why don't you? But, I mean, maybe Glenn could be charmed by it. Why don't we see if well, he can give us the pick? During this whole time, I'm walking. Glenn is walking to summon the demon again. Okay, if he wants to. I think so because he sees a bunch of distractions that he could use and throw against the demon. Okay, great. I'm just gonna try to get the pick then. If that's what we're trying to do. I was just good. saying, like maybe Scary can trick him into giving it to us. Okay, let's try that. I'm Otherwise, just saying, I'm... like I don't know. When you're telling me to do it, I'm not as inclined to do All it. All right, you Scary, know? don't do it. Actually, you can I do don't. Know what? I'd rather do my idea. I don't want to do your idea. Don't don't steal. You couldn't do it anyways. As a group, yeah. you, get, you get one thing to do before Glenn manages to summon the the demon again. I feel like this is an opposed role between Link's reverse psychology <laughs> and Scary's wisdom Except right to now. Except to Beth, whether or not she thinks it would work on Scary. Jody's gonna also be like, oh no no no, you guys. I just said I don't want you to do it. I was trying to do reverse psychology on oh, you. Oh, okay. It feels like Beth not grokking that as yeah. a sign. Yeah, it feels like Scary wouldn't grok that gonna, either. Because you also have been hating her and negative towards her all the time, so it doesn't come off yeah. like reverse psychology. It's just you being your normal, yeah. not liking Scary self. Otherwise, I was just going to use the candy can, and Taylor could try to grab that pick with his teeth. Jody's going to be like, no, Glenn's very powerful. You don't want anyone that's too weak to do this. You could get hurt real bad. Well, if he hurts us, then that looks good for you, right? No, yeah. I, well, that's a little... I don't like hurting kids, necessarily. Yeah, but then he would be hurting the kids, so like, yeah, you but, look cool. But, sir, we've been around the block. we fought Pizza Kings. we fought Tentacle Monsters. I think we can handle a little guitar playing. Scary, you all got beat by a baby. A baby almost killed you. Look, Scary, do you have a way to get that pick? We all want to get out of here, right? So... Okay. I cast spider climb on myself. That's right. I'm the spider boy. <laughs> <laughs> How could you? Hey, what the hell, Scary? Oh, maybe she's the chosen one. There are trees surrounding the field, and you can easily climb up any of those if you wish to. Okay. They're 100 feet high. I'm just going to climb up the guitar and try to grab it. Okay. I mean, you're a person-sized person. You don't need to climb up a guy to reach at his midsection, but... I'm going to climb him up. All right, sure, fine. Link's going to try to distract... I said uh, you got one thing. Yeah, this is going to be to help her climbing up the guitar. No, he's already turned around. Huh? He's already turned around. Well, you don't want to hear what I'm going to say? I was just sure. Gonna, <laughs> I was just gonna, I'm just, just trying to be harder on you all. Oh, yeah, no, that's fine. Maybe this doesn't work. I was just say, pretty good solo, but like, I bet you can't do it... With guitar behind your back. Ha! Oh, check this out, idiot! <laughs> Hell yeah, it works, Anthony! <laughs> Fucking idiot! Yeah. <laughs> this all <old> track! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Heard Van Halen do that all That's the time. so fucking stupid. <laughs> Glenn, Glenn puts the guitar behind his head and starts wailing even harder <laughs> on the solo. I'm gonna roll performance again now. And because he's doing that, he's now rolled a 32 on performance. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it somehow got better behind it's your best back. version of well, one yeah. of Scary, you were approaching him from behind. The pick is well within your reach. His hands are a blur. They're going okay. so fast. I just rolled sleight of hand. Yeah. And I got like 15. Yeah, good luck, Beth. Try to put your fucking hand in a wood chipper. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so with a 15. I don't care what happens to my hand as long as I get that anchor. So uh, with a 15, I feel like you roll dexterity opposed, Frederick. Oh. Beth, you walked into the wrong fucking hell. Can you be a 28? <laughs> oh, God. So yeah, his hand just. <laughs> It like saws yours off, like the sheer <laughs> speed of it. Just <laughs> and then you just oh, have a wrist. Hand. No, oh, seriously, your hand looks. Oh, oh my god! god. Scary. Oh. Scary, are you okay? No. Oh no! Wait, oh, wait, my wait, god. wait, 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 wait. What's it, Taylor? Like, throw me <laughs> throw like a javelin into the guitar. <gasps> okay. Instead of throwing you, I'm gonna spear like you know, like a like a whaler. Like I'm gonna <laughs> just stab you into the guitar. I summon my cheerleading spirit and I say, "You can do it, Link." Throwing something is just like kicking something with your hands. <laughs> Link, like his eyes roll in the back of his head, <laughs> and like so much has unlocked for him. Like he thinks about all the times he's ever been to shoot a basketball. <laughs> like all the times he, he can throw the a Zach baseball. Zach Galifianakis, like just, math. Like, thing. Yeah, he's just like thinking. Like all of a sudden, like his hands look like his feet, and he's just thinking about this. He's like, they are just like. He goes back to the fucking primordial time yeah, where like dude, fish cut first for like came out of the water. And like dude. all the limbs are just the same. He's like, wait a second. Why am I using only two of my limbs? Like I could be doing so much more. Yeah, he's gonna throw because Taylor said so. He's gonna throw Taylor's face connected 
it does well, candy no, 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 the, can- the, the sharpened edge. The sharpened edge. The sharpened edge. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Go ahead and throw with whatever you bonuses on it you get from the you? spirit kids. I think I have to. Yeah. I'm weighing it perfectly. <laughs> it's perfectly balanced with your head on it. Wait, lick it a little more. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. Licorice. Right. Right. Licorice. It's always a trick. Why would anybody want licorice as a candy cane? Okay. What's so. better than this? Guys being dudes. <laughs> Jody the entire time is just watching mouth agape going, this was a bad idea. <laughs> what am I rolling? You're rolling a ranged attack because you're throwing a thing at a thing. While yeah. I'm soloing, I kind of look over and I wink at Morgan. <laughs> and Scary has climbed up a tree and is crying and is like, I just wanted them to not have spider boys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, roll 18. Okay, so Freddy as Glenn, roll opposed perception. See if you notice this thing coming up for your 19 axe. 19 plus 5, 24. <laughs> Fuck! Okay, so you know that the thing is coming towards your axe. You can choose how to react to that. I think I'm going to just spin around and roundhouse kick this object out of the air. <laughs> like, Matt, you, you know what I'm talking about, right? Wait, what wait, was wait. It? Oh, like Xiao Xiao? Wait, wait, come on, you need help out of Taylor. As he notices, <laughs> no, though. No, I think Taylor, Taylor, as Taylor, you Taylor say, anticipates the move. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Don't you have to roll for this? No, no, no. I'm because just you blue blue this is the rest of the yeah. episode. This I'm just telling you in advance. Bond. I just gave Freddy a, a blue boxing glove and a red boxing glove, and he's just hitting himself with both hands over and over. And they're like, this is the most fun I've ever had. <laughs> I was say, you could give him the big, like, you know, sad eyeballs by grandpa. You know, it's like give him something to make well, him Well, technically, to he's not his grandpa. Yeah, technically, no. Well, well, he technically, cares. Jody's my grandpa yeah oh yeah are you related to glenn he's not i'm not you're you're not yeah canonically it's just like a guy spiritually kind of spiritually spiritually because it's kind of in the same way like i play guitar i'm spiritually connected with stevie ray vaughn but i'm not related to him whatsoever (laughs) yeah we share a bond through the kinship of music and taylor and glenn share a bond through the kinship of this is just how freddie improvises So Taylor is anticipating the worst possible outcome, so he's steeled himself for it. So he's going to adjust his spin trajectory (laughs) as it's spiraling. Taylor's going to be like, he's making a move. And then Taylor's going to like throw his head around the other direction to like change the directory of the fucking, you know what I'm saying, dude? What what does Glenn do when he sees this happen? (laughs) Yeah, you see that Glenn. Glenn What what muscles are you using? Glenn Glenn, 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 Glenn. (laughs) You see, but you see Glenn knows. Glenn knows that this this trajectory is Oh my god. So so Glenn interrupts, Glenn holds a fucking sick twisted bend on the fucking 12th fret of the B string as he turns around and grabs the candy cane out of the air, dude. And then he's face to face with Taylor. He's like, eh, you think you got what it takes to defeat me? And then Taylor, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Taylor goes, you're quicker than I thought. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Glenn goes, hey, nothing personal. Okay. And he throws, and he throws the fucking candy cane into like space. Like as hard as he can. He just throws it up and never comes down. Like he launches that shit, dude. He launches that shit with all of his might. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Athletics? Athletics? I think. <laughs> so we're going with this, right? Is that <laughs> athletics? Yeah. And then he's dead. <laughs> and the kid is done. The game and move. No sounds coming out of his mouth. <laughs> 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 yeah, now he's crying oh, adequately. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's athletics. <laughs> <laughs> so Glenn rolls a 6 plus 7 13 <laughs> not my best throw <laughs> <laughs> so yeah Taylor kind of goes up like he threw a football the average distance in the air and, and then goes back up like star like ding yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. not your best throw old man <laughs> yeah and then yeah you come back flying back down to earth well no I think I'm just like out of the fight now I mean, yeah, but maybe not. You, you, you don't, you don't land throw. next to You landed to square in the middle of where the demon is going to be summoned. <laughs> yeah. 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 You landed right next to the him. second uh, circle of cobblestones. Catch him? It's high enough that I can definitely move to try to catch him. Oh, it's like that foxtail game that we played as a kid. It was that ball with You're the done, Freddy. <laughs> but you remember that, right? <laughs> take, take a lap. Cool. Take I take got a 22 <laughs> for athletic. Oh, my God. <laughs> Easily, you grab it. I might it. catch it like a cheerleader catching catch a baton, you know? In your teeth. I just grab it. to believe. And I spin and I look at Taylor and like, 
It was a pretty good try. It was a nice try. Round two, I throw. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. So Morgan comes in and slaps the fucking candy cane down. She hey, what the hell, leaps in and slaps you down and you embed into the dirt. And she goes, fuck it, we're summoning this demon. And she points at the first cobblestone. That really sucks, lady. <laughs> she points at the first cobblestone circle and she goes, well. And she points at the second cobblestone <gasps> thing and she says, well. And she points at the third cobblestone thing and she says, well. And the cobblestone things rise up and wooden roofs come out of them and a bucket comes down and you hear, well, well, well. And 12 soccer players <gasps> oh, no. fly out of the wells and land in front of you. Link stumbles back, <laughs> drops to the floor, <laughs> just tears in his eyes. And you hear the voices of 12 bullies simultaneously saying, well, well, well. well, well. So, so you, you want to try to beat, beat the 12 and one again? One again. Huh? <laughs> Wait, Wait a, a second. second. I think Link looks at Taylor who's on the ground and he grabs a candy cane and he stands up he goes, sup, assholes, hear this voice? It's a new Link. And I hold up Taylor and I go, and I got friends now, so. Wow, the soccer well, well, well boys are here. But nobody <laughs> sees me up in this tree. I see you scary everybody's, and she got a spell. I was going to cast a healing hand. Everybody's forgotten about me. I guess I'm not really part of this group after if you all. If you cast spider boys on me, I can climb up and help you. I can help your hand. I'm a healer. That's what I do. I, I, I can help. I, I can, you know, they're still good in you. I, I'm pretty Sometimes sure. Sometimes I still think I hear them talking to me. I'm, I'm down here. I'm talking to you. I'm part of the group. Scary. Hey, it's scary. It's normal. Whatever. Scary. You literally left the group. Whatever. Just get down. You literally left the group. Whatever. What are you doing? Just I'm become just going to write in my diary. So the 12, the 12 <laughs> soccer players go like, oops, looks like you're going to have a hard time beating us with the best soccer player in teen high up in a tree. Wait, are you Wait. guys like actually the kids? <laughs> 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 like, was I going to school with the demons? Maybe yes, maybe no. Yes, yes, of course you were. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes Wait, is demons- one of you Schmagin's kid? Yeah, okay, your dad. <laughs> but your dad is real cool. You should say, come on. So at that moment, Link, your phone rings. Your phone <gasps> vibrates. Ring, ring. I don't know why I reached my phone. I Matt reached for his real what phone. What the method. <laughs> Fucking Matt's Matt so deep, deep right now, Matt dude. Hours to shake off Lincoln Lee Wilson. <laughs> dude, <laughs> Matt is so deep right now. He picked up his real phone. Yeah. So and you see a text on your phone oh. from an unknown number. <laughs> I didn't because I had my phone up to my ear. <laughs> <laughs> the Matt. Really always talking. I heard a ring. No, After a few message. minutes of that. Oh, it's a text message. So you see a message yeah. from it saying, if you need help, reply yes to this message. It's got to be a scam. Have you guys seen? That sounds like a scam. Chase always Unknown says they number. would never ask for your information. <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah, sure. Why? I mean, what's the harm? I type yes back. <laughs> you, okay. You type please unsubscribe. In that moment, your phone explodes and its shards create a circle in the air, a circular portal that electricity connects each of the individual pieces. And through that portal, you begin to see manifesting a window into a place that you've been before, a window into the FBI headquarters. And Agent Schmegan and all of his men, armed with machine guns, come stomping through the portal into hell. And just then, another portal opens, and who is it? It's the entire Wakanda nation. And look, <laughs> there's another one, and it's Spider-Man and all his friends. Hey, Schmegan on your left. Damn. Or right, I forget. God, it's, on your left. it's on Marvel your left. Says we made it. So Schmegan puts a hand on your shoulder, like, and he says, I knew you'd always be the one to help us out. I knew you had some good in you. Yeah. Thanks for giving us hell. We're going to turn this into a just another American institution of democracy. <laughs> Fucking nar- <laughs> I mean, I don't, I, I literally do not care, but don't care what you guys do. That's fair. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. I mean, this place yeah, we, is- America needs more soldiers <laughs> like you. <laughs> 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 Wait, does Joe, Joe I'm not your know, soldier, man. This place sucks, but uh, we're just we just gotta get this guitar pick. So these are the same people that tried to kill and torture his own son, right? Yes. Yeah. So I have an ire against them. Mm-hmm. So I see them land. I'm like, oh, these motherfuckers! No, 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 no. These buckos! These buckos are not gonna help us. I refuse. 
No, get out of here. Go back to where you came from. You, you sink through the ground and then you come back up where you are because there's no, you just, it loops like a, the Pac-Man screen. No, I drop from the top. Oh, yeah, cool. yeah, exactly. <laughs> you buckos. Oh! <laughs> so are you going to attack them or do something? Or what do you uh, do? I'm going to instantly attack all of them. I'm just oh, going to fly Whoa! into them and clear them out. Because cool. The agents start firing at you as you head toward them with your Glenn electric Solo's whip. harder. <laughs> <laughs> now it's two-hand tapping. Wait, if he's two-hand tapping, he doesn't have his pick. Fucking oh. idiot, you have the pick pinch between your fingers and you use that to give a little more definition on the top screen. <laughs> so yeah, you're playing harder. <laughs> I'm happy to demonstrate. Morgan's afterwards. throwing up the devil horns and head banging really, really hard. And then the 12 soccer players go like, well, it looks like the adults are a little bit occupied. Now nah, you ain't going anywhere, fucking kids. I'll kill you. <laughs> Okay, I mean, but you failed every other time you tried to fight us. But yeah, maybe... why? Wait, can I ask a question? Why did Glenn fail to kill these twelve? Kids? Because you can't kill them. You have to beat them, and a soccer ball appears on the field at soccer, and one man cannot beat twelve people at soccer, no matter how hard he tries. Messi two, could. Two people. Messi could. <laughs> Messi could. But Messi's in heaven. Messi's in, but Messi's in heaven. <laughs> yeah, Messi's in heaven. He got baptized. Yeah, yeah, yeah he got baptized. <laughs> That's the only reason. We got to play soccer? Scary lands and says, I'm not a soccer player. Yeah, we... <laughs> there wasn't an opportunity to do that a few minutes ago. But now, just so we're clear. So wait, the 12 kids, there's like a demon ball in front of them or whatever? Yep. And it's like there's... It's perpetually like a, on fire. It's mm -hmm. perpetually on fire. Okay. Hey, Morgan. When I said use them as a distraction, I don't know what I was thinking. I meant fill out the team because I would know that. I would know that we would know that. against these guys. I know. I, I speak your language. I know what yeah, you mean. Yeah, it's yeah. the I words you don't say more than I the words you say. Cool. God, I love you. God, you're so God, hot. Tongue kiss okay. me right now. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Fuck this. <laughs> I'm going to try to steal the pick while he's making out with his wife. All right. Go ahead and roll kind of sleight of hand. 20. Wow. Not a natural 20, just a plain 20. Sure. Roll a uh, post perception, Frederick. Glenn definitely makes out with a pick in his mouth. 21, 16, no! plus, 16 plus Not 5, 21. Worth it. So, what Not do you do when you see this kid's hand coming toward your And pick. when they separate, you see that the pick is on his tongue. <laughs> yeah, oh, dude. Oh my and tied in a knot, dude. <laughs> When you find someone that you really love, you can be able to do this with them one day, kid. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, well, look, look, I, look, I feel like I've set up a certain number of things that you can do, and it's up to you to choose which one I, of those. I look, uh, Leek looks at scary. Morgan says, if you beat these demons for us, we'll give you the pick. Wait, well, hold on, babe. <laughs> <laughs> hey, babe, I got it. I can oh, get you a new pick. Oh, all right. Leek looks at scary. Saying. What position are you going to play? Left striker. Game on. I'll be uh, one of the players. Yeah, that's cool. Can I, I kick the ball to you guys? <laughs> Jody in the distance go, you're better off as a cheerleader. Hey, Jody, mm -hmm. shut the... Ah, never mind. <laughs> hey, what about me? Hey, 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 put me in, coach. Mm. Oh, turn me upside down You'll first. be like the flag. <laughs> put me in goal. I'll block anything that comes at me. Yeah, he could be like oh, our goalie. Gosh. Or our cheer... Wait, wait. Maybe you should learn the rules of the game. If I... Uh, no, I couldn't. I couldn't. I was like... So I don't have my mask outfit with me, obviously, right? You saw it in the upper level of hell if you want to go back up and try to get the hell version of your mascot outfit with you. Jody, could you give me up a couple levels up real quick, back to pride? Jody, in the midst of slapping around all these FBI I'll agents. I'll say whatever word I have to. Just get over here. I just hop on your back. To pride! I take you off my back, and I just throw you upwards. <laughs> and Hermie hears you say to pride, and he's like, I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> I zip up to pride. I see Teeny the Teen. I'm like, Teeny the Teen, I need, just, I need your body, but not your your head. Roll persuasion. I got a 21. Fuck wow. yeah. So Teeny the Teen goes, give me an O. Give me the K. O K. And he decapitates himself. His body walks towards <laughs> you. Okay. And I say, back down we go. Yeah. That's not Do how it works. Doesn't work. I say, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you go down uh, another level. Hell. You have to say bitch like five <sighs> times. <laughs> I say it five times. I'm like, right. <laughs> by the fifth time, I'm almost like, I think it's okay if I say yeah, it. <laughs> You're crying by the time you get down there. Um, okay, so you're back where you are. Now you're holding the headless form of Teeny the Teen. Did somebody call for a body? No, I actually quite like where I'm at right now, but I mean... <laughs> I <laughs> I just grab your head and stick it on top of Teeny the Teeny. Well, no, the candy cane. Yeah, right? the candy cane. Yeah, you oh, yeah, just I slide the candy, candy cane. Bro, it's just like the golden monkey in Legends of the <laughs> yeah. Hidden Temple. You got to roll this if you get the pieces right because those fucking kids. They always put it backwards. I figured out why, by the way. Yeah, because they were not doing it for camera. They were doing it for themselves. No, because that's also the first time anybody had seen the golden oh idol. sure they shot all those episodes in a block all those kids Funny, didn't this have this is just perpetual <laughs> stew all over it <laughs> <laughs> all right so yes the candy cane is into the stump of teeny the teen 
and his head is like kind of over his left shoulder because of the curve get, of the candy get cane. Get in the mascot, Shinji. Get in the mascot, Taylor. Yes, and you <laughs> find, Taylor, that you have limited control over the limbs of Teeny the Teen. Psychically, you're connected with the candy cane and the body of Teeny the Teen, and you can move around just like this. So your head's like high up, huh? Because like it's yeah, it's higher yeah, than normal than and you. it's to the left. So yeah, you're a good goalie, and you're sticky. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. You've been licking me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're the two the... things you want in a goalie. <laughs> Sticky, Sticky and tall. And tall. <laughs> Sticky and tall. Girl, is he single? <laughs> I'll take goalie. All right, I'm center mid. Jody, you want to play with us? I'm just slapping all the FBI agents. Yeah, he's like, probably... He's oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hermie yeah. goes, what spaces are, are remaining? For Hermie, her? you and me are going to be the guys that are the other guys on the team, right? You two are left back and right back. You do not let the ball go in the goal. I thought that's my job. When they undeniably make a mistake, <laughs> you, you can use your hands to stop the ball from going into the goal. All right. I scream back at Hermie. Hermie, bend it like Beckham. And he goes, of course. And he closes his eyes and he opens his eyes and he looks just like Kieran Knightley. I he, knew he was going to be Because <laughs> he goes, I didn't want to be the Indian girl, but I'm just, it's, oh, it's me, Kieran Knightley. <laughs> Normal drops to his knees. knees. I'm so confused. <laughs> Does Glenn and Morgan play? Yeah, if you want them to. Sure. Yeah. Glenn goes like, all right. And he sort of like throws his guitar away like Prince at the end of that one solo. Yeah, and it just goes up. You don't see it anymore. <laughs> it, goes up, it, it goes to another layer of hell. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. People in the B word level are like, ooh, free guitar. <laughs> and uh, I feel like Glenn's just going to stand wherever the fuck he wants on the field because he doesn't really like soccer. And he's like, I guess I'll be here. Morgan knows what soccer is. So what position would she take? You're right. Right striker. Yeah. Right, right striker. striker. So she fucking flexes her extremely muscular right leg. It's like, it makes like a gun cocking noise as she, as she plants yeah. into the ground. She's got fucking yeah. thick her thighs are the size of hams. Like she could kill you uh, with her thighs. I'm thinking too much about that now. <laughs> <laughs> um, so normally this would be a 4 4 2, but I think there's six of us. So it's like a 2 2 2, two, two. position. Great. With so a goalie. Six versus 12. Wait, you get 12? Yeah, there's, there's 12, 12 of them. Yeah, there's 12, 12 of them, them Matt. Yeah, but there's 11 players on the team, man. They're cheaters. Yeah, they're sick. They're, they're one of them has to be on the sideline. Here's the other. Oh, actually, right, actually you guys, no, you know what you know? Three of you guys got to come over to our team, so it's a fair game. So, so what you do? Persuasion. Okay, hold on. Before you do that, when you say, well, there should only be 11 of them, you realize that there's 11 demons, and one of them is just Schmegan's kid who they kidnapped. <laughs> oh. Schmegan's kid. Hey, can we, uh, can, can we, we have use Schmegan's that? Kid? Can we have that? Schmegan? Yeah, can we have that kid? <laughs> can we have that kid? I mean, he's can just going to be on the sideline. Schmegan, you're on the There's a lot of having of things these, this Schmegan episode. Jr. Glenn, Come on, Glenn, wait, wait, Glenn picks up what normal's throwing down. He's like, hey, hey, kid, let me, let me just. Hey, Schmegan, you're on our team now. And I'm going to roll Persuasion as Glenn Club. <gasps> oh, nice. Ooh, that sounds fun. <laughs> Natural one. No! <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> They kill him. Are you <laughs> <laughs> They say, you want this? <laughs> yeah. You know what they do? It's like in fucking the Battle of the Bastards when they have John's brother run and they just keep like <laughs> lobbing fireballs at him. He's like almost to you and then one hits him through the chest and he fucking dies in front of you. Oh, and uh, Anthony, who's happy, doesn't have to now come up with a name for that character. <laughs> Is my kid doesn't even get a name? No. You Schmegan's kid? He goes, my kid! Schmegan says. <laughs> Schmegan's kid died? I thought Glenn got him. Why would they hit Schmegan's kid? Because you rolled a natural one. He said, you want this kid? And they sent him to you. <laughs> and knowing that you cared about him. And they fucking Wait, but iced does this him. Kid, was this kid baptized? Actually, yeah. So he, and his chest explodes and he falls to the ground. And then like a cartoon, like an angel <laughs> ghost. Like, father, oh comes, father, like, fucking father, strumming a harp. was so brief. But I would be in a better place now, for I ascend to his godly domain. <laughs> he sounds father, just like please. <laughs> and Schmegan, knowing that please as a man, please weep not for me, father. <laughs> knowing that as an FBI agent, he will never go to heaven. Goes like, Fire con Dios, my son. <laughs> <laughs> yes, father, fire con Dios. I will see you in his glorious eternal kingdom. I, I can walk over to Schmegan, who's doing a fucking Gears of War, like shooting, blind firing over the cover at Jody. Goes, ah, oh, what is it, kid? I stand with Jody. Tears streaming down his face. Jody, stop. What? We're playing, stop. We're playing soccer. Just like either play soccer <laughs> or wait till this game's over. I'm in the middle of doing a thing where you hold someone and you just slap them over and over again. <laughs> uh, so roll intimidation stop. against Jody. Yeah, good luck, idiot. Oh, here I run over to Morgan. <laughs> 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 oh, I got 14, but you got a 14? Yeah. Uh, what you rolled, Jimmy? 12. So Morgan, you got a 7 Morgan, plus 5, so that's 12. Morgan looks like she's going to have a lot of fun playing soccer. A shame if only one of the guys she was interested in was playing soccer. Uh, the FBI agent I'm holding, I just grab him, I just tear him in half, and then I throw him back. I'm like, let's go! And Schmegan goes, my brother! <laughs> and I turn to and then, uh, was he baptized? <laughs> yeah, the whole family. <laughs> and I turn to Schmegan, I say, you may not make it to heaven, but this is a beautiful game. 
you play in honor of her son and maybe whoever's up there will let you in. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, what roll, all soccer players yeah, are hoping roll for. Roll persuasion again. 15. I hear the big J is a big fan <laughs> of soccer. Is that for Jesus or Jehovah? Whatever you believe in, buddy. So uh, <laughs> he only rolled a 12, so he goes, you know, I think you're right. I think heaven erases sins based on quality of athletic <laughs> Talent. Contribution. Contribution. Yeah. All NFL Get players it. go to heaven. Yeah. <laughs> well, sadly. Play like your son's watching, which they will because they all watch soccer in heaven. So yeah, that's true. They'll definitely be watching this watch. And they call it soccer. And they call, and so they call it soccer. soccer. <laughs> it's called soccer, you <laughs> fucking is <laughs> America. Uh, so, uh, oh, no. Shrega goes, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to do it for my son who's watching me up in heaven. Let's do this. FBI guys, fellow agents, don't worry about the demon for now. For now. We have a soccer team to beat. We only need four more of you guys, though. Only four of you, then. Me and three other guys. Who wants... And then everybody's like, me, me, me. And he picks, like, the three most athletic guys. And the other guys go, oh. And, then, <laughs> <laughs> and they sit by the side. <laughs> so it is currently Morgan, Glenn, all of you, Jody, Agent Schmegan, and three other soccer players versus 11. They clean. Yeah, we have a full 11 now. You have a full 11, nice. and they have a full 11 now. So Great. it's an even game. So they put the soccer ball down in the middle. Oh, wait, can a small team of demon children lead us out onto the pitch? Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah, they're all holding <laughs> your hands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Joey's yeah. like, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. We, we gotta do this right, you guys, right. Uh, Please a... stand for the demon national anthem. Can you just hear... <laughs> <laughs> You just hear a bunch of little kids going, bitch, 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 they all land and then lead us in. They all lead you in one at a time onto the field. And it's time Taylor's for the getting dogs. carried like a candy cane. He talks to his kids like, "So what you in here for, buddy?" <laughs> uh, Insider training. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, he's a kid, so yep. I, I can't oh, say anything. Do. I don't think it's gonna be really sad. <laughs> no, he was. They're I just, all born I just here. wasn't baptized. <laughs> <laughs> so, I ate some lead paint, and I wasn't baptized. <laughs> <laughs> I crawled into an oven. <laughs> oh, wall chips. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Forbidden chips. Your captains line up at the ball. I guess me and Scary both like just, we both, captains, do, we here's refused your here's your chance to not to be shit. captain. Captains, here's your chance to shit talk them and demoralize them. Uh, uh, you guys are in hell, so that yeah, fucking sucks for you. Fucking sucks. We uh, know. Being in hell. Yeah. Well, 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 we found a way out of hell anytime we like. That's why we're at your school all the time, idiot. We can come as go as we please. Nice try. It must be stressful to feel like you're stuck in two worlds, not able to share the true self that Heads. lies within. And the guy flips the coin. <laughs> uh, it lands tails. So you get to choose whether you want to kick or receive. What is it? Guys came and win a coin toss, and you're going to win a soccer game. So Ooh, that's good. We're going to kick first, right? Yep. Kick first. I toss the ball to scare. I just look at her. I just say, don't fuck this up. Don't fuck this up. Yeah. You already fucked this up. Fuck you. Fuck you. All right. If you, if you children. suck as much as a friend, I mean, if you suck as much, I mean, if you, I mean, if you suck as much at soccer as you do at friendship, then you're going to, we're going to have a problem. Yeah. Well, then we both suck and we're going to lose this game. So like that would suck for you. I you, haven't you first game back and you already lost. Fucking I, this isn't me back. Normal panics and kicks the ball. <laughs> <laughs> All our days whisked away, but is there something more? That no one knows us better than ourselves Used to tell myself it'll be alright Pretty lies, let me sleep at night I know that no one knows me better than myself And I know I'll get this right It's just a matter of time till we make it out alive
Dungeons and Daddies is Matt Arnold as Lincoln Lee Wilson, Anthony Birch is our DM, Will Campos is Normal Oak, Beth May is Scary Marlowe, and myself, Freddie Wong, is Taylor Swift. Special guest this week, Jimmy Wong as Jody Foster. Theme song is On My Way by Max and Waller. Brian Fernandez is our content producer. Ashley Nicolette is our community manager. Esther Ellis is our lead editor. Travis Reeves provides additional editing, and Robin Rapp is our transcriber. This podcast is directly supported by our Patreon, which features the likes of people like Miriam, Joey Lopez, Matthew Simpkin, Sergeant Pinky, Sam J. Murphy, TJ Vivier, Mel Hayes, Tegan Michael Sheridan, Howard Gallier, Tanisha Gonti, Lavi Nichols, Joseph Gravel, N. Fam, Elizabeth Lai, Ultima Farrow, Jacob, Shadow Burdick, Joshua Sisk, Glenn, and Jabbles Raz. Supporting us at patreon.com slash Dungeons and Dads directly supports this show, and you can get ad-free episodes and bonus content. And if you get on that Patreon now and stay a patron for three months, you can get a special merch bonus. At the lowest level, it's a Dungeons and Daddy's Natural One Dad sticker. At the higher levels, there's a new bonus, Sons and Sons Ability mini poster that gets sent to you automatically after supporting us for three months. That's on top of hours of video and audio bonus content, one-shot campaigns, mini side campaigns, as well as our after show, Teen Talk, where we hang out, answer listener questions, give some insight behind the scenes into the latest episode. And if you're some kind of Discord pervert, there's also a big old active Discord server for patrons you can get access to as well, where we do official live listens and live events. Check it all out at patreon.com slash Dungeons and Dads. Our Twitter is Dungeons and Dads. Our website is Dungeons and Daddies.com. Our merch is store.dungeonsanddaddies.com. Our subreddit is Dungeons and Daddies. And our next episode is coming at you March 14th. We'll see you then. We gotta pick ourselves up and say, not today, no, not today. We live for tomorrow, make steel and borrow, break where we can't change. We gotta pick ourselves up and say, not today, no, not today. I don't need your sorrow, come back tomorrow, I'll be on my way. We all said the B word. That's why we're here. So uh, yes, yes, because you're sinless otherwise. Yeah, Taylor. So? I know what you do at night. Anyway, yes, what I watch a lot of anime, <laughs> <laughs> and we will leave it at that. <laughs>